UCI Campus Recreation presents Etiquette and You. Welcome to Campus Recreation's employee training video. So you've been hired as a new employee at Campus Recreation? Congratulations! There are multiple jobs here at Campus Recreation, but all employees are expected to maintain job professionalism, policy enforcement, job etiquette, and most importantly, courtesy. Let's meet Billy. Billy is starting his first day at Campus Recreation. Remember to always be well rested and energized for your shift at work. Now how shall Billy dress for work? Shall he wear his A. Snuggie B. Beachwear C. Suit and tie or D. Campus Recreation shirt Looking sharp, Billy, that's right. As a Campus Recreation employee, you are expected to present a clean and professional appearance when you represent us, whether that is inside or outside of the facility. Hold on there, Billy. Aren't you forgetting something? Like what, mister? Don't forget, all employees should wear their name tags when going to work. Looking good, Billy. What's this? It seems that Billy has forgotten his student ID to enter the ARC. But not to worry. Luckily on hiring day, Billy went up to the sales desk to have his hand registered for hand geometry, a state-of-the-art machine that takes measurements of your entire hand to allow easy access into the facilities. All one has to do is simply type in one's student ID number, place their hand against the easy-to-use pegs, and wait for your confirmation to go in. Great job, Billy! As a Campus Recreation employee, customer service is your number one priority. It appears as if Billy has already gotten the hang of a job. As an employee with Campus Recreation, it is essential that you act in a professional manner and extend courtesy to patrons, visitors, co-workers, and anyone else whom you come in contact with at the workplace. It looks as if Billy is receiving a phone call. Well, don't just sit there, Billy. Pick up the phone. Hello? Let's try that again. What? <laughs> Not quite. Hey, what's cracking, man? How you doing? Sorry, Billy. That's not how you answer the phone. Fitwell Services, this is Billy speaking. How may I help you? If you should receive a phone call, answer stating your department, your name, then ask how you may be of assistance. It is up to you to create a positive atmosphere by answering questions to the best of your knowledge, answering the phone within a timely manner, and always greeting patrons genuinely and politely. If this situation occurs, ask the customer to excuse you. Excuse me, can, can I answer the phone real quick? Is that okay? Okay, sorry about that. Fitwell Services, this is Billy speaking. How may I help you? If possible, try to help the customer on the phone before putting them on hold. Use your best judgment to determine whether you can quickly and effectively answer the question on the phone. If it requires more time, ask if you can put them on hold and finish up with your current customer. Great. Well, it looks as if Billy has gotten the hang of this job. Abracadabra. Now I think he's ready to learn about proper radio protocol. If you ever find yourself in a situation where you need to make use of the radio, follow these simple guidelines. One, make sure the radio is always on with the volume on high. Two, when making a call, wait one or two seconds before speaking. Jack, are you, are you on the radio? And listen for a response. Yes, go ahead. Three, relate your message and wait for confirmation it was received. Do, do you have keys for the training zone? Yes, I do. I'll be right up. Billy, are you on radio? When receiving a message, wait for the person to finish speaking before responding then give confirmation the message was received. Yeah, I'm here. Could you make your way over to the Fit Lab, please? Uh, uh copy that. Uh, I'll be there in a sec. Billy, that was swell.
As a campus recreation employee, it is your job to maintain ownership of the building. Uh-oh, looks like Billy found some trash on the ground. Should he A. Ignore it B. Tell someone else to get it C. Throw more trash on the ground Or D. Pick it up Great decision-making skills. Nice shot, Billy. If you cannot make it to work, it is your own responsibility to get your shift covered. Try to give your replacement at least 24 hours notice, and if you cannot find a replacement, always notify your supervisor of the situation. Well, that does it for Campus Recreation's employee training. Remember to always be on time, be courteous, and be responsible when in the workplace. Thanks for watching, and have a great day at work.